All right, it is Sunday, April 16th. Doing some videos here. Let's look at the top gainers. Um, small caps really explode, uh, exploded. <clears throat> CNSP. CNS Pharmaceuticals. Let's see what happened with this one. Let me... Um, Techfin biz. Was there news on this? April 10th, over 100 patients now enrolled in CNS Pharmaceuticals, a potentially pivotal study evaluating Berbican for the treatment of Leoblastome. That was April 10th, so I don't see recent news. Let me look at if anyone's saying anything. It's looking at stuff, but it's, um, I don't see. There could have been news. Maybe not news. I don't know. I don't see it on here. A lot of times, these... um. Small caps move with no news, but if anyone has news, it's right underneath. All right, so look at let's look at the chart though. The more important part is the chart. Yeah, this started to move right here so slightly after 11 a.m. You see the volume building, 634,000. Very tight little candles here, starting to explode up. Found this 150 line, move high to two. And then when these start to move back, you want to like draw a line to see you know, what they're doing exactly, where they're moving back to. Now, this was a falling wedge. So right here, look at this. That is the perfect, you call it a falling wedge or a continuation flag pattern, um, bullish, because a bullish continuation flag pattern, it comes up from below, comes up high, does this back and forth. Now, this isn't really back and forth like a typical uh, bullish flag um, would be, but you can still call it something like that, a falling wedge of that. And it comes out right here, finds a low, basically, yeah, you know, 106 near that one line and it takes off again. Now look at two. This is this is what I mean we use. You can use other indicators. Uh, right here, oversold. See the stochastics? Now I like stochastics because it's a fast moving um, indicator, like RSI is relative strength. That's more slower. It's not really good for day trading. There's other indicators like this you're gonna have to use and find out like there's PPO, which actually works for you. So on this, once this drops below like this, now on penny stocks, these don't work exactly like maybe ETFs or higher price stocks. So you get a watch. So when this comes back, it's gonna fall the way back to this line right here, which looks like today's open and yesterday's close. They're both on top of each other. So this bounces, starts to move. You go sideways, you're moving up, 150 line. And you have high a day, pretty much 196 to over two. You start moving again. Look at the volume. Now, the volume, except for this bar, a lot of these up bars are white. They're very good for up volume. The down volume is pretty much lower. And then this moves over 150. Gets as high as you got 338, 350 almost. Comes back down. Now, all these two, these are, um, let me see here. Let me go back to... The one minute Let's see here yeah it was called it <laughs> i don't use the one minute really or two minute as much anymore you can see all the halts two minute go to the three minute you can see this a lot of halts going on here because it's just so liquid and moving so fast all right so we come down come down to the 250 line then this big candle so set to close 405 and then we move up so what you have here basically we'll call it 69 cents to a high of what's this high candle 420 yeah it's a great move and yeah this chart was long all day go to the 10 minute see your 13s of your 20 that's why i like this this is very subtle and people don't understand when this goes through here this is like the move on covid and the market when the market went down so hard you know it's a temporary move how long would it last not that long it's not like it was a financial crisis um that's why these sharp moves go through the 13 EMA, but it's not enough time for the 13 EMA to catch up. So it's moving so fast, it's going to bounce back um, because it's not a true move. A true move where it continues to go down. Like, does this chart have it? Yeah, look, this chart has it. Reverse split. When this was at six, now it's split, whatever it was. And then see this, your 20s of your 13. This is a continuous down move, December, January, February, March, into April. And then look at the volume here, 59.9 million. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's the move down. All right, so we go up here, and then you can see, so the big move here. Get to the 10-minute. You have your 13 of your 20. 
look at this candles touching us and then it rides off you have another pullback and it bounces um, 15 minute it's even better some people just play 10 minute candles or 15 because they don't want to see in each one of these candles it's whatever it is 15 minutes 10 minutes five minutes however you play it um so there it was on the daily chart yeah this is a complete mess of course you know small cap pharmaceutical when did this um ipo let's look back so this has been around since um november 29th 2019 going down starting to make a move a little bit to that volume today but so what do they do exactly they're a clinical pharmaceutical company engages in development of anti-cancer drug candidates for treatment of brain and central nervous system tumors. Their company's lead drug candidate is Berbican, or, or Berube, Berubican, I don't know, Berubican, if I pronounce that right. Completed phase one clinical trial, um, license agreements with Houston Pharmaceuticals, University of Texas and the Anderson Cancer Center development with WPD Pharmaceuticals. It's founded 2017 based in Houston. Yeah, the, the market cap on FinViz is only 1.5 million. The float's 1 million. So this thing flew. Supply, demand. You have very little um, supply and demand. People want to get in it and buy it, and then look what happens. That's what happens. And that's what will happen with these small caps over and over again. You know, what's going to happen tomorrow with this? Who knows on small caps? This could come back, you know, pull back. Usually they pull back to that middle line. Some days they take off and keep going even more. I've seen I've seen a five-day run where it's incredible. So that's why you play these day by day. Someone could have swung, yeah, swung, swing trade. When this was down so long, yeah, players maybe put a small position. Think, just wait for a bounce. Now, you know, it's a riskier move. But you know, you've seen moves like this where it's very tight. You can actually draw a line now on this. Draw a line from the low. You know, pretty much the low here. And draw a line right here. If I connect. Try to get as many connection points. Yeah, you know, really about here. We'll call it like this. So yeah, this wasn't a falling wedge. See the width, and then it came up, and then there was no low point for a while. This came close, and then look how tight these candles are. Very small. What was the volume? 22,000. There's no volume. So it's just no one's looking at this until something happens, news, or whatever happened with this, or you know, pump from um, chat rooms, um, pump stock rooms, um, whoever, day traders, Discord rooms, Reddit, and then look, look what happens. Then it bounces, makes a huge move. All right, so that's the move on this. So now you're playing line to line on this. Once this moves up, let it form a pattern. If this keeps going, yeah, you don't have to chase. Just let it go. We all want to chase and make money, but you're going to lose in the longer term. Look for patterns. Move up here, sending triangle. You know, use lines, 150, 125, two line. And that's it. So this was a huge runner. CNSP 383%. That's it. Please subscribe to Mike Kamen Trades on YouTube. Smash the like button. Check out uh, Mike Kamen Trades on TikTok and the other social media. I appreciate it. That's it. Peace.